Hey guys, Biltron here. So I've been playing Space Engineers again. It's a game that I've been playing for many, many years. And just a few days ago, the Automaton's DLC just uh, was released. It has a lot of new features um, concerning AI uh, movement for drones and rovers and automating your your factories, your bases, and your ships. So there's a lot you can do with it, especially with this new block called the Event Controller. The Event Controller has basically two sort of logic gates in it. An OR gate and an AND gate. And with those two gates, um, you pretty much make almost anything uh, you could think of. Um, computers are made with nothing but um, and gates and stuff so yeah. yeah the more you have of them the more complicated things you get and the more awesome things you get um, but I think there's a flaw in the logic gates and so I set up this experiment to explain to everybody and show you guys in a visual way what I'm talking about now for those of you that don't know um, I'm going to bring up a truth table of the logic gates. So here I have uh, two doors and three lights. And the lights are going to represent our logic gate. So whenever one of the doors opens, a light turns on. And the same goes with the other one. The blue light turns on. And this one, the red light turns on. So when both lights are on, the third light turns on the white one and that is because I have it set to an AND gate this is the truth table for an AND gate it says when both inputs are on or a one the output in this case the white light will be on so when both of them are on white light turns on and then both doors close now that's cool that both doors close, right? And that's because I have it set up um, with this timer block here. And this timer block waits two seconds to close both doors and turn off light number three. This timer block is being controlled with this event controller here, which says it's looking at the state of light number three it's looking for it to turn on and in the event controller set up two actions the left action is when the block is on and the right action is when the block is off right now when the light is on I'm having it start the timer which right now the light is off so it's doing action slot number two which I have nothing in action slot number two because I don't want it to do anything when the light is off so but I also have it set up over here as an AND gate by selecting AND gate at the bottom of this logic controller which is looking at the state of both doors both doors are closed so it's outputting action number two if you look at action number two here it says light three is off now I don't really need light three is off because the timer block is turning the light off but in a minute here I'm gonna switch it to an OR gate and that's why I need it there as well so light number one comes on Light number two comes on, light number three comes on, and it closes. So our AND gates are working perfectly fine. Now, let's take a look at our OR gate. We unselect this, and now it becomes an OR gate. So here's our truth table for an OR gate. Truth table says that if either one of these two doors is open, then 
the output should be on. So let's give that a try. Door number one is open. Light one is on. Light number three came on. And so it closed the doors with the timer block. Door number two. Blue light came on. White light came on. White light triggered. Event block, event block triggered timer to close the doors. Okay, awesome. But if we look at the truth table for an OR gate, it also says that if both doors are open, then it also will make the output as true or on. So we open both doors. That is correct and it turns it off now right here you would think or gates are working fine right well check this out we're gonna go ahead and turn off this event block that's looking at the input from light number three the white light so we're gonna open door one logic is correct and close this logic is correct we're gonna open this one logic is still correct according to the truth table close it still correct now let's do both doors open correct right output is on because saying is either either door open yes and it's saying either or right so both are open and the lights off. All right, so let's close one of the doors. Okay. Um, do you see a problem? Cause I do. Door number one is still open. Light number one is still on. Yet the output is off. And if you look at the truth table, it says if one is on, then the output should still be on but it turned off. If we look at the, the event controller, it says door is open, closed, action, and it's outputting action slot number two, which is to turn the light off. But that is incorrect. Okay, we'll close that door again. You can see that it happens no matter which direction I do it. I close this door, turns off. If you look at the event controller, door is closed, open, action slot number two is being performed. When it should still be performing action slot number one, because that's how OR gates work, but it's not. So, <clears throat> if you had set up this uh, control block to control the doors like I have with a separate one doing a timer block you may have never noticed this because it looks like it's working correctly because it's constantly closing the door every three seconds but what if we change this and say okay I'm not looking at the the I'm looking at the state of the light, but instead of triggering the timer block, we just select all doors and say close. Right? And then we won't even have a, a need for a timer block, it'll just instantly close the doors. Open the door. Uh, what's going on here? Things are breaking. We're getting lots of clients. Hear that? The doors are constantly opening and closing. Yeah. This this breaks things. It's it's trying to do it the instant that the doors are open. Which is why you would want a timer block. So we'll put that back to a timer block, because that's a lot better. But how do we how do we fix this logic gate problem for something else other than doors 
because we can see that it does work for doors if you have it set up right. But what if you have something else set up, say a factory or something more complicated and you're expecting the OR gate to work correctly, but it's not. And that's where I, that's where, you know, I found the, the flaw in this thing. And I don't know if King knows about this or this is the way they intended it to work, but that is not how OR gates are supposed to work. Luckily, I found a mod on the workshop where somebody also noticed this and they decided to fix it. It's called Smarter Event Blocks. And I'll show you what that does. Uh, let me just log out and log back in and load that mod. Okay, I'm back. So I loaded the mod and now when you go into the event controller, you'll see the events that are monitored now say the word smart next to them. And those are the events that the OR gate has been changed. All these that say smart, 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 like open door smart. So we're still monitoring our two doors. As you can see, nothing's happening on the right because we haven't uh, it done an initial change in state. So we're going to go ahead and open door 1. And it turns off, as expected. We're going to open door 2. And it's going to turn off as expected. And now we have our door monitors here. And it's performing action 2. Let's go ahead and turn off this event block so that we can see the example of, of before where the door stayed open. So door number one opened, output is correct. Door number two opened, output is correct. We close door number two, the light turns off. But look, this time, the output is still on and correct. So door number one, and it goes off. So this mod essentially fixes the problem for us and makes it into a true OR gate. Now, I think the problem lies here where it monitors the the state of the doors it's looking for a closed action to perform output number two and slot number two so as soon as you close one the state goes to close and it switches to slot number two but on this one it doesn't do that it keeps it on slot number one because it sees that one of the doors is still open making it into a correct OR gate now it didn't touch anything on the AND gate AND gate still works correctly as well so both inputs have to be open or on for the output to be on. So that is completely unchanged. It just fixes the OR gate. Now, I really hope that Keen will fix this in a patch or something and we won't be needing this mod. But I want to give the mod creator a great thumbs up for fixing this for me and for everybody else that has noticed this problem and probably for you too so yeah um, if you guys would like to support the channel please consider subscribing and if uh, you're interested in playing uh, Space Engineers uh, 
use this QR code or the link down below. Um, uh, it's another great way to support the channel. Um, yeah, hopefully I'll be putting out some more interesting stuff uh, that I can come up with these logic gates. Till next time.